Hi, it's Jose here, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how the Pingdom website speed test tool works. What a mouthful that was. Uh, so uh, this is one of my favorite tools for testing the speed of a page, of a web page, or of a website, if you like. And uh, it's great. It's my favorite because it has the best interface. They've just got it really, really nice. Uh, you can see that you have three different locations here from which you can test. And it, I think there used to be four not so long ago. So this obviously changes. But again, you know, it's free or rather there is a free plan, which is what I'm going to show you now, which means that you, you get in this for nothing, really. So it's not bad having three locations. I imagine that the the actual paid plan has a lot more locations. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead. What I'm going to do here is I want to take a copy of my URL. This is my test website and I'm going to put that in there. And let's test it from, let's say, Sweden. OK, now this particular test website that I'm testing is on a UK server. It's on a cloud server, but it's not on, um, let's say, something like Cloudflare. So it's not being served locally, wherever you are in the world. OK, now these are the scores. Which are pretty good, 90 percent performance grade. This is the load time of the page faster than 96% of pages tested. It shows you here the actual page size and the number of requests. Now, let me just mention that this is a pretty light website. It is a test website. All I've done is throw some big images into a slider just to add a better weight to the page. Those are not optimized images, but it's still a pretty good score. And this is mostly to do with the theme that I'm using and the hosting that I'm using. And I'll put a link to both of the things that I use in the description below this video. OK, so let me move on. Below this, you have the performance insights, which gives you a breakdown of what this tool thinks is important. And you can see that almost everything scores an A, uh, 100. So there's nothing to look at there. And something has a grade F. And in this case, it's uh, remove the query strings from static resources. If I click on that, I can see the actual issues. OK. I could use a plugin to remove the query strings from the static resources and fix this issue. And of course, the point I'm making is that with this kind of speed test tool, you gain insights which let you know where the actual problem is, where the bottleneck is, and then you can address it and really improve the performance of your website. So as I say, this is tools.pingdom.com and I will put a link to that under this video. And yeah, it's a great tool. It's brilliant. And go and use it right now.